Meet the human bloodhound, Sergeant First Class Jonathan Reffer. He and the other soldiers of 3rd Platoon Outlaws have a nose for hidden weapons, and that's exactly what they're looking for today. Uh, basically, we're uh, out here in the uh, dunes. We're going to start looking for uh, some caches. Uh, Doc Lee is going to use the uh, PIS-11, uh, the metal detector. We have used it numerous times. It's been effective. Uh, we have discovered caches are about two feet in the ground, covered in plastic, so it actually works. Forget a needle in a haystack. Try a needle in a giant sandbox, the sprawling Al Jazeera desert. You find one cache, there's usually three or four with them. They, uh, their TTPs are about 10 meters apart to about 150 meters off a, uh, a structure building, so that's kind of your guideline. That method, which would make Sherlock Holmes proud, has paid off for the outlaws. The platoon has uncovered more than 25,000 pounds of explosives here in the desert so far. Recent caches we've found have been uh, HME, uh, Katusha rockets, uh, 57 millimeter rockets, uh, homemade landmines, speed bumps, uh, about a little of everything. But the platoon sergeant downplays all this bloodhound talk. It's just luck, I guess. <laughs> Hardly luck, though. More like a lot of hard work. Hard work that's paid off with a drastic drop in the number of attacks on coalition forces. A lot of the caches are being found right in this area. So I think it's been effective and I think it's worth it. And that's why the human bloodhound is still on the trail. Air Force Sergeant Lee Bellinger in the Al Jazeera Desert, Iraq.